Hi, welcome to Splash and Go. Nate Ryan here with Steve Wattard. And Steve, a lot of angry drivers after the race <laughs> at Watkins Glen Sunday. One of them was Bubba Wallace. Let's hear what he had to say about his incident with Kyle Busch. He just run me the f over. That's yeah. exactly what happened. So I don't care if I'm two years in or rookie stripes or what, but I'm going to get my respect on the track, and I don't care who it is. So that's, uh, that's what one guy's fail to think uh, about the young guys, I guess, or with me. So um, I won't put up no sh so I flat out wrecked his ass back. So I won't be like, oh, it's Kyle Busch. You know, he didn't mean to. So obviously, Stevie, Bubba felt as if he was justified in going after Kyle. Is this the best way for Bubba to gain respect from veterans? Well, I think it perhaps, unfortunately, might be the only way. Um, you know, I think we saw, if you go all the way back earlier in the year, Bubba had a great run at the Daytona 500, really his first ever race in the 43. And then uh, you go back to some speedway races where he was in, call, in some accidents. Um, you know, I think he knows that there are certain tracks where he has to attack when he drives the 43 car. In certain tracks, he just needs to get all that that car has. Watkins Glen was not a type of track that he could attack. So I think he felt slighted that Kyle Busch was having a bad day. And did Kyle Busch wreck him? You know, we can't really see it on the video, but I'll take his word for it. Okay. And it doesn't shock me. So when a guy of Kyle Busch's caliber and a car that speed fast goes to the back, they don't set up every pass as they would at the front because they feel some guys are going to let them go because he's coming by anyway. I think that was his opinion when he drove down underneath the 43. Obviously, the 43 didn't agree. He ends up in the barrier. The retaliation, I asked Kyle Petty and Jeff Burton that specifically on Monday night's NASCAR America. And I said, as a race car driver, are other drivers watching this? And they both said yes. So while I don't love the beating and the banging from the 18 and the 43 after the accident, race car drivers have to do what they want. Both Jeff Burton and Kyle Petty agreed that other drivers perhaps would race Bubba Wallace differently now that they saw he was willing to spin Kyle Busch down <laughs> right, to turn right. one. So do you think, does it matter to Kyle Busch now in the future that, hey, Bubba Wallace spun me because I charged right through him to get to the front? Will that matter how he races Bubba in the future, even though they don't race for position? As you said, the next time he passes Bubba Wallace is probably going to be lapping. So the cerebral answer and the popular answer would be absolutely. The yeah. truth is yeah. absolutely not. <laughs> Kyle Busch races everyone, in my mind, he doesn't care, and, and that's a positive for a race car driver. I'm not saying that as a negative. Kyle Busch, when he, you know, there are guys, he doesn't race everyone the same. That's inaccurate. But he does race certain drivers the same way. And, and my point is, if he is in, and it, I don't think it matters who's in that car, but if he goes to the back of a field with a winning race car, and he feels that this guy, whoever this guy is holding him up, who doesn't have a chance to win, he doesn't spend a lot of time. Listen, what are the highlight reels? Kyle Busch in the trucks, last to first. Cobblish in the Xfinity, right to the front. We show him on every restart. Why, what is the common denominator in all that? That he doesn't care about the guy in 22nd, 21st, 20th, 19th, 18th. Because if you care, and if you think you have to give that guy the same respect you give the leader, you never get back to first. Cobblish attacks, um, maybe for a few weeks. If he does have the chance to maybe be a little cleaner with the 43, he may not run into him. But I think in the end, Kyle Busch will be on to something else. All right, well, another driver who had some issues with Kyle Busch, William Byron, during the Watkins Glen race. Byron essentially was told by his crew chief, Chad Knauss, to hit Kyle Busch. Stevie, do you think, was that more about Byron's development than Busch's actions? I.e., if it was any other veteran driver, does Chad Knauss tell the driver, hey, I want you to go tangle with that guy and prove something to the rest of us? So... I haven't talked to Chad about this, so I don't know what his motivation was, but my, uh, you know, analysis from the outside looking in is I question, um, you know, this year is a big shift for Chad as well. Uh, I go back to Dale Hart Jr. When he was out with a concussion, we had Regan Smith in the car at Charlotte and happened to be Kyle Busch, of all people, drove down into turn one <laughs> on our door yeah. for like yeah. fourth or fifth. And we slide up the racetrack and he goes on by. And I know in my heart of hearts, he would not have done that to Dale Jr. at lap 50 in the 600. Like, he wouldn't have done it. But he knew Regan was in that car, and he was going by. So I think Chad Knauss has to realize that he doesn't have Jimmy Johnson in the car every <laughs> week, and people are racing William Byron, even though he's not a rookie, as a rookie. And until he proves them otherwise, they don't give him the benefit of the doubt. I think it all started when Kyle tried to pass Byron. Do I think Byron did anything completely wrong? No. But I think in Kyle's mind, he expected more room out of that young driver in the 24. William races like he's been there forever. That's an argument between two drivers. But I'm confident... That Kyle Busch, I don't believe he will disagree with me, I'm sure, but I don't think he sends Jimmy Johnson. I don't think he sends Chase Elliott. I don't think he sends Denny Hamlin. 
off into the bus stop after that move of the 24. I think that was some frustration after a young driver perhaps didn't get him enough room in turn one. And I think the flip of that is I also don't think Chad Canals with Jimmy Johnson gets quite that frustrated. I think what happened on the radio, I don't think it's about William Byron. I think it's about 20 something races in and Chad's like, look, this has to stop. Like, right. I don't think right. Kyle's the only, this is a pretty obvious moment, but I don't think he's the only one to race William Byron that hard and perhaps push and bang. So I think it's a little William Byron development and a little 2014 development. And Chad Canals had had enough and said, go do something. Now, unfortunately, the veteran got the best of him as well with a good brake check in the middle of the S's and knocked the nose off the 24, but uh, <laughs> You know, those things happen. All right. Well, a lot of disputes, disputes, disagreements between veterans, younger drivers, a lot to talk about on Motor Mouths. We'll have Eric Almarola on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern on NBCSN. Thanks for watching Splash and Go. Hey Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.